back to this new video tutorial in Microsoft Excel. Here in this video, you will learn how to create a bill entry format. As you see here in the screen, I have already created this bill entry format where I can enter the details of the sales bill. And when I add here new records, the total will be automatically calculated and this formatting will be automatically applied. Let me add here a new bill number that is bill number 6. When I put this here you see the formatting is automatically applied and the formula is also automatically given here. If you are entering the detail of the current date sales or the today's sales then here to put the date you can press control plus colon symbol together in keyboard that will insert the current date here. Then in this cell write the customer name. The item sold to this customer is suppose keyboard. Quantity is 3 unit. Price is 500. Then here you see the amount is automatically calculated. Here we have to put the tax rate which I am giving here 13% just for example. And here you see the tax amount and net amount is auto calculated. So here we are going to learn how to create this format in Excel. So let me add here a new sheet by clicking on this plus button. Here in this blank sheet, I will create this bill entry format. First of all, in the A1 cell, type the name of your store. For example, XYZ Electronics Private Limited. In A2 cell, write the address of the store. Now here in the A4 cell type sales bill entry. Then in the A6 cell type the column headers. The first is bill number. The next one is date of billing. The next one is the customer name. In the next cell type item name or you can also write product name. In the next cell type quantity, in the next cell type price or you can also write a rate. Then here it will be before tax amount. In the next cell write tax rate percentage. In the next cell write tax amount. And finally in the J6 cell type here net amount. Now select from the A1 cell to J1. Then click on the home tab, then click on the merge and center tool. Similarly for the address line also select till A to J. Then click on merge and center. Then increase the font of the company name by clicking on this. Then click on this font increase option. Now for the address line also increase the font size. Again select this A4 to J4. Then click on merge and center. Now here in this title apply a background color by going to the fill color option then select a color. Similarly for address line also give a different color. For sales bill entry make it bold increase its size and apply a different color. Now select these column headers and increase the font size and apply a color highlight by going to this fill color option. Then make it bold by clicking on this bold option. Now select all the column from here then double click to auto fit the column width. And here for customer name you may require wider column so increase the column for this. For the item name also increase the column. For this before tax amount you can decrease the column size and click on this wrap text option. Now select this column header row and one row just below this. Then click on the insert tab then click on this table option. Now here select this my table has header option then click OK. Now here in the table design select a different table design. Here I am selecting 
this table design now increase the row height by selecting this first row then hold the click in mouse then drag it down which will select here multiple row after this click anywhere between two row then drag this down to increase the height of the row now the row height is increased now to lock the heading part click on this a7 cell then go to the view tab and here in this freeze pane option choose this freeze panes now when you scroll down the heading part remains constant after this just above the quantity here use a formula that is the soft total press is equal to type soft total open bracket then here choose this function number 9 that is for sum then give a comma then click on the cell just below this column header then close the bracket press enter similarly for the before tax amount also use the soft total function bracket open 9 for the sum comma then click on the cell just below this before tax amount close bracket press enter for the tax amount and net amount also use the same function here now click on this then go to the home tab increase its size then apply the fill color of black then apply the font color of white color then make the value center aligned by clicking on this center align option now click on the format painter then apply this formatting here again click on the format painter and apply the formatting here in the tax amount and net amount total now increase the row height of the column header by dragging this down then select the whole sheet by clicking here then click on this middle alignment option now here in this before tax amount cell use this formula press is equal to click on the quantity multiplied with click on the price then press enter in the tax amount press is equal to click on this before tax amount multiplied with the tax rate then press enter and here in the net amount the formula will be press is equal to click on the before tax amount plus the tax amount then press enter now let's select this row then increase the font size to 12 then make it center aligned by clicking on this then here in this tax rate column we have to apply the percentage formatting so click on this edge column then click on the percentage symbol here now let's add here the first entry for example bill number one in this date of billing if you are entering the detail of the bill of the current date or today's date then you can press ctrl plus colon symbol together to enter the date here to enter the backdated invoice you can manually enter the date here like this for example may 20 2024 sometimes when entering the date you may get this in a number format like this if this happens simply click on the cell then go here in the formatting option in the home tab then here choose this sort date option in the customer name i am going to write here belly trade link just for example item name i am putting here keyboard quantity is suppose that 3 unit price i am putting here 500 now here you see this is auto calculated in the tax rate i am going to give 10 percentage now the values gets calculated and here the total gets calculated again enter the another record here 
so in this way now you can continue entering the detail of the sales bill in this way you can enter the detail of the sales bill by creating a format in microsoft excel now if you want to see the detail of a particular customer you can use here the filter option here if you see this ram store is repeating more than one time if you select the ram store from here now this is the total for the ram store so by using this filter option you can filter the data from different criteria like from item also you can filter if you want to see which customers purchased keyboard you can select the keyboard from here then you will see the detail for the keyboard only so this is the way of creating the sales bill entry format in microsoft excel and this was for today's video thank you very much for watching we will again meet on next video tutorial